Okay, hi everybody, thank you for coming this morning. Uh, I'm Sonia, I work with the OpenStack Foundation in Community Management. And what I do as part of my role is I overlook user groups, I look at the ambassador program, and that's the thing we're gonna be talking about today. So you can find out all about it. So firstly, the purpose of the program is to, well there's four reasons why we made it. The first one is to improve communication between us, well the user groups and the foundation. So there's user groups all around the world. If you see, there's a map and you'll see all the pins in like almost every country. And it's very hard for us at the foundation to keep track of everything and to know what's going on. So by having the ambassadors there in each region, we can have a communication point. And they have the fourth point, the local knowledge. So it's an easy communication as they know the customs and the culture and they are able to put feedback back to us so we know the users are happy or if there's an issue, we can address that. The second point is mentoring and advice. So the ambassadors are a great way for user groups to have a contact point to be able to, whether they need help getting a speaker, whether they want to seek sponsorship, any one of those number of things, if they need help running the user group or need advice, they are there to provide that. And the third one is advocating for OpenStack. So they might attend events, they might be going and spreading the good word about what OpenStack is and what it can do. Small example of that was FODSEM in 2017. In the left side, I've got a couple of our ambassadors pictured there doing a great job advocating for us, the OpenStack Foundation and the technology. And yet, lastly, as I mentioned before, local knowledge. So we might not have the exact local knowledge for all the regions around the world, but by having the ambassadors there, they are there to help us get that communication solid. Also, just being able to be, for it to be smoothly, less conflict, less, lack of understanding. So see, we do have ambassadors all around the world and we have a second one coming in the US, but they are there to literally give us that global coverage that we simply can't have. And we very much value them within our community. So we're gonna look at how you can become an ambassador if you're actually interested in heading down that path and becoming an amazing leader within the OpenStack community. So firstly, start participating in your user group. There are many great ways that you can get involved. If I'm sure if any of your local user groups, you head to them and say, hey, can I help out? There'll be certainly something for you to do. So you start getting involved, you start understanding how it all works, and then you, you myself might step up and become a leader in that user group and start sourcing out sponsors, start taking on those great roles that help the user group thrive and participate in the community. So then you hit the leadership front, you might be the user group leader or a co-organizer, and you might guide the group through the process and your group will get to official the official user group status, which is a big part of becoming an ambassador. It shows that you're able to get a user group thriving and working and meeting constantly it, for the cadence of your region, whether that means it's a month, once every two months. But by doing that, you, you see you can get in your own region something happening within your own geographical space. You've got a great thing happening. and then. So then we know you can also do that for other user groups within your region. And then finally, you fill out an application. And then we find out what you are doing great in your region. You, we're looking for things like, how you're gonna, what's your vision for the European region? What's your vision for North America? What, do you, what can you do to help make all the other user groups get to the space that you did with your own user group? And then we'll have a look at that. We'll say, yes, have you got a reference? Great and then you make it into the program. And then you start doing the great things that you did with your user group in that region. And you're helping to make OpenStack thrive and make it an even better thing for the rest of the groups in your region. So one particularly helpful link is the groups.openstack.org slash ambassador program. You'll see a list of all the ambassadors and how you can contact them, especially for your local one. You also see a number of different links about whether we're looking for how you, whether it's sponsorship, if you're trying to do that for your user group, are you looking for speakers, you have a lot of helpful tools and advice that will show the different things you can do as an ambassador and you can fulfill them before you even apply so we know that you can do it within your own user group. So we hit the Q&A point already. Uh, does anyone have any questions at this point before we keep going? So I've got, actually got some of the ambassadors here as well. I'd like to ask you guys a few questions. Uh, do you want to stand up? So we've got three of them, uh, three ambassadors. Why don't you all stand up? And uh, yeah, come to the front, that'd be great. i get you guys to talk about what you do. Or just come over here, then you're in the video. 
<laughs> Thank you. Just come into this space. <laughs> Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Erwan Galen, uh, ambassador for uh, Europe. Um, so uh, I'm uh, running the French user group since uh, more than uh, five years. And uh, we, we work with Martin to help uh, the, the user group. So we are helping new, new groups, also managing existing groups. Uh, when uh, in some countries, for example, you have few groups, we can we can make the link between uh, between the people, <laughs> and um, uh, we also help uh, new regions. Uh, for example, in uh, in Africa, there is uh, lots of new new user groups, and uh, we help them to create some can content to 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 also uh, find some sponsors. Because uh, if you take the example of groups in Africa, they said, "How can I launch a user group?" So we explain the format, uh, when, when to organize an event, and also we, we can, uh, with our uh, contact uh, connection, we can provide them, for example, some, uh, some resources, some server for workshop. Uh, so we, we try to be a catalyst to, uh, to help user group for, uh, for to launch and after uh, at different, uh, at different steps to launch or after to, to, to grow simply. Okay, hello, my name is Marton Kis, and I'm actually based in Hungary in Budapest, and I'm also started with, with a user group there. And what we are trying to do with Airvan that we are trying to, from one side, connect the user groups with the foundation, but from the other side, we are also trying to cross-promote OpenStack in, in different channels and in different events. Basically, we were, I think I was participating in this uh, Dorf in the LinuxCon event, where we did this FOSDEM event this year, so, so OpenStack get a very nice presence on these events. And, and I think from one side it is a brand building uh, story. Uh, hi, my name is Marcel, I'm an ambassador for uh, South uh, America. And uh, as Ervin and, and Martin talked, uh, as ambassador we help the some uh, user groups to create uh, uh, new meetups and uh, new events and uh, advocation to OpenStack in, in some locations. So I have a question for all of you. What's the best part of being an ambassador? Um, me personally, I, um, I'm, I'm very happy for uh, um, where when after the first event, the, the organizer said, uh, uh, thanks a lot for, uh, because uh, sometimes we have so, some people who contact us from the website and uh, they don't know at all how to, it, it's not how to organize an evening, but what will be the target? Uh, how um, do I let some space for a sponsor or not? This could be simple question for people who are organizing big events for a long time, but it, it's very important decision, de decisions at the beginning of your group. Because, for example, if you let too much space for a sponsor, they will uh, completely uh, uh, eat your... Uh, you, you have to be independent. If, and not, and if you want to run uh, lots of meetup for a long time, it's more easy if you are independent from sponsor. You need sponsor, but only from a small part, to, for example, to pay, uh, pay beer or something, but not to trust or not to show too much marketing things you can allow. So this frontier with sponsor is not easy to handle by, by people because they don't know. So <coughs> also the, the format, some people don't know what to, what to, what to show. Also um, in some regions, it's very difficult to get some, uh, some speakers. Uh, so in France, US, we were yesterday with Lisa Marie, who is running the user group uh, in the Bay Area. It's very easy to get some speakers, but in other regions, it's very difficult. If you take uh, Abidjan, uh, it's, some, it's, it's not safe in some places. Some people, it's not easy to, 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 to put one, uh, one speaker. So um, also, sometimes we provide some uh, uh, some guys remotely with uh, Skype or Hangout session. Uh, so 
Um, so the local user group can find some guys and we can also provide some remote session. So after this session, yeah, I'm, I, I'm very happy that this, the guy, and also he's also giving them some energy and some support. Because sometimes it's only one guy alone saying, I want to do something. Uh, and he, he seems that he's alone and uh, don't know where to go. And just pushing him, say, yeah, it's easy, it's good, giving him some energy. It's very, it's very pleased to, to, to see that this action can help people. And after, um, if also a uh, few guys are helping, because it's not good that it's only one guy who runs a user group. It's very important to have a group of people. After, it will be more easy. One guy will manage one event, or you, you, you can run and uh, organize uh, and share the work to do. So, so, on, so it's creating something that could be long for a long time. It's, uh, it's, it's very good. Yeah. yeah, what was the best thing that maybe five years ago when we started to build this uh, story, basically the OpenStack, uh, open source user committee was, was almost non-existent. And, and in the last five years, we built up a very huge community with the help of of the local user group leaders, and actually we have more than 60,000 user group members all around the world. So not just in the States and in Europe, but all around the world, everywhere. And, and so it's, it's not only ambassador, we are only uh, helping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically what, what we do, did that we catalyzed a lot of things inside the community, so we connected the dots and connected a lot of people with each other that helped to build up this, this community. So I, I think it, it is a fantastic uh, story if I looking back for the last, last five years. And, and what is very interesting that I think that building uh, open source communities and user communities here in the States, is, it, it is very easy. But, but building it up in Asia and, and maybe in the eastern part of Europe or, or maybe even, even the western part, it is not so trivial because <laughs> because it is, it is very hard to get sometimes to get sponsors, to find the speakers for the events. Um, it is a kind of challenging task, but it is working. Uh, so when I started uh, in Brazil, uh, user group, uh, we had uh, uh, some difficulties. And uh, as ambassador, I think we can use our experience and, and knowledge to to help others groups to, to create uh, events and meetups. So for me, it's very uh, nice to, to help you with this. So I th thank you all for coming up and talking, and I thank you all for coming today. Uh, so that, that'll conclude the talk. I hope you can all get involved and be a part of the Ambassador Program. Thank you. <laughs>